Mathematics is alive and well at Bell Labs. Uh, 103 years since the first mathematician was hired. There are two common threads that go right across the 100 years of research in math that we've had. One is the conjunctions of mathematics and computation, and the other one is the encouragement to dig deep, to go deeper into the subject. At Nokia Bell Labs, uh, teamwork, I think, is one of the key characteristics that is not often uh, found in academia, at least not sort of the kind of cross-disciplinary teamwork that we do here. There are experts in different research areas, in uh, engineering, in math and physics. And if you just sort of chat with people, you identify, you know, maybe a new problem to work on, where you can use your strengths to help solve their problem. Um, so it's not just sort of an echo chamber of your own research interests. It's like collaboration is encouraged across groups and also within your own team. As a group, we have strong contributions to our fixed access business. We are deeply engaged with our wireless research and also have uh, strong ongoing projects with our software business. In addition, we are deeply engaged with our Bell Labs uh, research challenges in human, machine and network augmented intelligence. And above all, researchers get to select areas that they would like to do individual research in, which is informed by the Bell Labs challenges and the interactions with our businesses. Math of Communications has a rich history. It really goes back to Claude Shannon and the introduction of information theory. One of the important projects we've worked on involves vectoring. And the mathematically interesting side of this had to do with convergence, transitions, being able to invert these large matrices and then change them dynamically in a way that no one loses connection as we add and drop new users. Here at Nokia Bell Labs, uh, I run a group called uh, Math of Systems. And what we try and do is uh, gain a, a deep understanding of communication networks. Uh, when we look at how the wireless networks operate, there's a lot of stochastic behavior. The interference is stochastic. The users, what they're trying to do with the network is stochastic. And so what we end up with is a stochastic optimization problem. So we're trying to uh, formulate the problem as an optimization problem and design network algorithms and protocols so that we, are, we, we can then guarantee that all the users are getting the maximum benefit from the network as possible. I lead the Math of Networks team. Uh, the Math of Networks team is a wide-ranging team that deals with the fundamental properties of networks and develops solutions to help us understand these networks. A lot of the data that um, surrounds us can be captured in the form of, of a network or a graph. And we at, at Bell Labs, as graph, as graph theorists, uh, we do work on understanding the fundamental properties of these graphs or these networks and this, can allow, this allows us to develop tools to understand and make sense of these networks. What's exciting is A, we're able to apply deep fundamental mathematics, but we're able to apply it to uh, today's problems, to, to things that will make a difference in people's everyday lives. Take for example artificial intelligence. Right now there's an enormous amount of news stories about AI systems that are being developed. Lots of companies are trying to figure out how can they apply AI. Um, but what's fundamentally limiting the broad scale implementation of AI systems uh, is understanding how these systems work at a very detailed level. So one of the things that Bell Labs is working on and I think is a critical need is understanding these systems in detail. And that means a mathematical exploration of the fundamental understanding of these things. And from that grows the broad acceptance and broad understanding and deployment of these kinds of technologies. These three areas, working in teams, computational aspects of mathematics, the outcome in terms of algorithms, and digging deep, I think are going to be the hallmarks of research going forward. <laughs>